Okay, so today we're going to go into this uh, split here. And this was the split where I was trying to make uh, a split based off of queen cells from our other split. And uh, those queen cells had already hatched by the time I made the split. So I was hoping that I had pulled enough brood that was young enough for them to make to make a queen out of it. And so now I've got to go in and find out is that the case? Or do I need to pull some, uh, some eggs from another house? So that is what not to do while it's baking high. So after I gently coax this piece of wax back into the frame, Yep, brood still hatching out. Still some younger brood that hasn't yet. yet. Oh, somebody's laying. Interesting. That is very interesting. Somebody's laying in here. Um, I'm sure you can't see. But right over here is this the freshest hatched larva you can imagine. They're just teeny tiny little seeds. It's just a, a small lowercase letter C. Some eggs over here. That's so snappy. Not seeing our queen though. But we do have another frame yet to go. There she is. There's our queen. So either we pulled the queen over last time, or they've already managed to hatch and breed and hatch and mate the queen. Eloy, excellent work. Yep, all uh, girls. Um, keep it up. And, uh, so as we saw today, our split actually does have a queen. Um, I suspect we pulled that thing over from the parent hive <clears throat> when I made the split. Uh, it has happened before, and it'll probably happen again. <clears throat> but they do have a queen. We saw her. We saw all the signs of her. And um, we did not see any sign or see the queen in the parent hive. Now, I did not go all the way through that hive. I will in the next couple of days because if they are indeed queenless, then we got to make sure that they are drawing out a queen. Uh, so they can continue on. So in the next couple of days, I'll also have to go back into that split and uh, pull them into a full 10-frame deep brood chamber. 
I get them ready for full production. And they may not produce very much this year. I may wind up turning that into a breeder hive. Uh, we are already started into our honey flow here in Depth City, South Carolina. So I don't know that they'll have enough time this year uh, to build out a, a whole uh, full brood chamber and produce honey for me. Uh, but if they do great, if not, then I'll, uh, I'll split that hive a couple more times throughout the summer and um, basically build it as breeding stock. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that like button, and as always, thanks for joining me on the farm.